and welcome to um, episode 6 of uh, how to play Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures. Um, in this episode I will uh, talk you through how to build a squad. Um, in the rulebook of the core set it says start with a 60 point squad, um, but I will build a 100 point squad. Um, with some of the upgrade cards I have. This is just to show you how to build a squad. This is not a squad you can build from the uh, call set alone. You will need cards from different waves. You need uh, some of the expansions also. Um, but basically this is just so you can get a feeling on how to build a squad um, at 100 points and just to learn what to look at and what to look after when you're building a squad so let's start um, for starters I have chosen a well-known pilot Darth Vader he has a point cost of 29 points. He can choose missile and elite talents as I walked you through in an earlier video. If my cam would focus, focus, cam focus, focus, nope. Um, and of course, you can always choose. A upgrade card with this logo on the back. This is a modification. Every ship can use a modification. It is not um, mentioned on the card that you actually can have a modification card, but it's a rule that every ship can have a modification. And for Darth Vader, I have chosen engine upgrade, which Give start Vader the boost action. This cost four points, so we are now at thirty-three points for his uh, elite pilot talent. I have chosen veteran instincts. If my camera focus, you see. Veteran Instincts cost 1 point and give you plus 2 to the arms number on your pilot card, which is your pilot skill. And that brings Star Vader up to 11 points uh, in pilot skill and total of 34 points so far. And last, I have chosen to put a concussion missile on him. At four points, this is a one-time use only. You can use it, uh, use it as an attack, and you need to spend a target lock. That means you need to have a target lock on the one you will fire this missile at. You will then roll four red dices, and you may change one of your blank results to a hit. This is a uh, Quite good missile, I think. I like this. Um, it's four points. You can only fire this at range two to three. Um, next up, I have taken the uh, squad that's gonna follow Darth Vader. And first up, How Runner. It's a unique TIE fighter pilot. When another friendly ship at range 1 is attacking with its primary weapon, it may reroll one attack die. He is one of the most used TIE fighters in a TIE swarm list and because of that ability. Um, he got pilot skill 8, so he is up there. He can take an elite pilot talent and of course a modification. Um, 
he got focus, barrel roll, and evade, and I forgot oh, focus, barrel roll, and evade actions. Yep, and I forgot to tell you that uh, Darth Vader. I will just put this card there. Darth Vader, he has focus, tackle lock, barrel roll, and evade. Yeah. And of course, with uh, Darth Vader's engine upgrade, he also got the boost. And Darth Vader can perform two actions in a round, which is actually pretty awesome. Now, back to Howrunner. I have chosen an Elite Pilot talent called Swarm Tactics. I need to. Yeah, I got them in protective sleeves. At the start of the combat phase, choose one friendly ship at range 1. Until the end of this phase, treat the chosen ship as if its pilot skill equals to yours. So, he will give pilot skill 8 to one other ship in within range 1 of how Runner. And that will be when I reveal the rest of the pilots. And those are TIE Fighters also, Black Squadron Pilot, they don't have any unique abilities, uh, other than that they can have a Elite Pilot talent, they cost 14 points, and by the way how want to cost 18, and 2 points plus 1, Swarm Tactics. Um, so, I have bought three of those Black Squadron Pilots. And the next card is actually from Wave 7, I think. Um, it's the good guard card, and I can re recommend it. Um, many uses it. Um, it is called Crackshot. When attacking a ship inside your firing arc, uh, I just could. <sighs> yep. When attacking a ship inside your firing arc, um, you may discard this card to cancel one of the defender's evade results. I know my can clean, just because I can't keep my hand steady or no way. Um, I have chosen this card for all three of them. Uh, bear in mind that uh, you can see it on both Hardrunner and Dart Vader. Just beside his name is a little dot. Um, that dot means that you can only have one Dart Vader in your list, whether it is a pilot as, as a pilot or as a crew card. You cannot have Dart Vader two times. Um, Hardrunner also got a dot, basically all named pilots. Got a dot that you that means that you can only have one. That means they are unique. So only one in the list. Um, you can try this list, or you can start build your own. Just keep an eye out on what they can use. Use the back sides of the cards as a reference to the symbol. If you're unsure. Remember that all ships can have a card with this symbol. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can build this list, build another. This is 100 points straight. Um, you can build smaller lists, of course, if you want. If you don't got the planes and you just need to try the game. This is, a, I wouldn't say, typical 100 points list. Um, but give it a try, give it a go, see what you have of cards, try it all out, learn the cards. Um, we can only get better by playing the game. So, thank you for watching. Remember to uh, subscribe and like um, my channel. And you're welcome to send me a message with uh, what you want me to make. Uh, etc. I will in my next video probably 
built another list, but this time with rebels. I'm not sure yet. Um, but this is a 100 point list. This is a list that's, that can be used in tournaments. I forgot to say that. Typically, tournaments, which I will name in a uh, talk about in a future video, are 100 points lists. So, thank you for watching again. Subscribe, like, comment my channel. Bye. Yeah.